I really believe in low tech, and that's the way I've gone with my smelter. Uh, what I've done is simply dug a trench in the ground and put a piece of pipe that was left over buried under the ground. Inside that, at the end, I put a steel plate with some holes in it. In this case, the lid from a paint can. It could have been a piece of shovel, but I couldn't find one. Then I just piled bricks around it in a nice uh, enclosure. I'll be filling the inside with the charcoal and then closing the top up to the point where it allows just enough room to lower my crucible inside. Yeah, we have a uh, kettle full of melted aluminum in my little smelter. It's getting ready to be poured. The first experiment with aluminum cans didn't work so good, so I upgraded to a different kind of aluminum. Okay, the mold has been cast. I should point out that it's for safety's sake, you should wear a lot of protection. Leather welding gloves, leather apron, eye protection, a face shield if you got it, because this stuff spits, sputters, and jumps when you pour it. So, um, we're going to wait a couple hours, let that cool before we try taking it on there, and we'll see how well it worked. In the meantime, we'll disconnect the blow dryer, and put it away and just wait for the fire to go out. Well, here's the finished product. I did learn one thing. Don't use plaster Paris to make a mold because any residual moisture can cause it to explode, spraying molten metal all over the place. If you try this, don't blame it on me. Have fun, be careful, don't hurt yourself. Bye.